Hi everyone. So this is part two. I have these two on. Let's see if I can bring it up to show you. So that's what it looks like so far. So as you guys hear, I'm just going to keep going around. I'm also going to put on some music in the background just to help this go by. I'm just going to continue measuring. I hope you can see it's getting quite big. And I want to try to get the flowers on the leaves. So I'm measuring 10, but if 10 ends on the flower, I just come down a little bit and pinch where there's not really a flower. Um, and that's okay if it's a little bit um, bigger. So now I'm going to go back down to this. Open it up. And I don't know what I'm going to do if this, well, I think I'm going to hang this one up. Not my job. But I got these other frames and just show them to you. Forms. I got these for about six bucks each. It's two of them. So this was six and this was six. But underneath is that frame that I can use. Um, I don't know how much. Oh, let me see. I think these are probably 18 as well. Just shy of 18. All right? And the inside is just shy of 9. Um, so I can take this tinsel off and um, maybe do another one to then give away to someone as a Christmas gift, as a gift, I can gift it to someone, but we will see how much supplies I have, it's very limited, so, see this one is going to end on a flower, but that's okay, I'm going to end up with a flower on every other one. Open this back up. And make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And lay it back down. So we will see. We will find out how much tablecloth I end up because I'm almost to the end of this one. So we will see how many I end up using. I've seen anybody do this method, you know, using the whole tablecloth in a wreath before. So, see, I'm just going to eyeball that one. Here is, I can probably get maybe two more loops. And I'm sure if you had a smaller frame, 
you might actually only, you know, need one on the inside and one on the outside. Yep, that's enough for one more loop. Just gonna lay that a little bit left in there. Make sure I get it nice and tight. Yeah, so pretty. So here's another one. And the nice thing about it, it's not white. It's kind of like a, an ivory or like a very soft yellow, which kind of goes nice with this color mesh. So there's another one. Very pretty. Come right in this one where I left off. Open it up. Hold that in there. Lay that right on the top. Come back. Be twisted. Nice and tight. I'm just gonna eyeball it on my way out, my way out from here. So this one thing we want to untwist it. Make sure it stays. I think it looks so pretty. I hope you guys can see it. I'm definitely going to have pictures of it on my Facebook. But that's the outside. Um, I can't really see how long it's been. But I'm going to go ahead now and jump over to the inside. And I think I'm going to jump over here like that. Bear, this is where I'm coming. Um, this. Hold it. And tuck it. I mean, I guess what you could do is so you can save on it because instead of using both sides, you can probably cut cut down the folded edge and um, have two panels instead of using it like I am. 
Now that way, if you're only, a, you know, if you only have a limited quantity, that's how you can stretch it to make it go farther. Um, it won't be as thick because it would only be the one layer, but it can work. I love this song. It's one of my favorite songs from Trans Siberian Orchestra. Obviously, we can go. Through, I'm gonna go through and play with it later on. Fluff it up. Some of those mesh has these strings, which I have to go back through and cut those. I think that was a little too big. Almost to the end of the second tablecloth. But like I said, I kept it doubled. more loops and I have one two three <laughs> so looks like I'm gonna have to dip into that third one 
for one loop. But at the same time, I think I might leave some for a tail. That'll be cute. And there's the last loop. So, table's off number three. Coming out the package. So, I guess in the end, if you want to keep it doubled like I did, you're going to need all three tablecloths. I'm glad I went back and got the third one because I actually only had two at first. And you can probably cut these down to like four inch strips like ribbon and then loop them like that. Um, you know, it's, it's however you want to do it. And here's the last loop going in. Some of that green tinsel we saw here in the deco mesh. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. Okay, so there it is. I think it looks very pretty. Very almost very traditional looking. Um so what I'm gonna go I'm gonna go away now and I'm gonna do a a, a third video. I'm gonna leave some tail and I'm gonna chevron the tip like you know people do I might even um, do some kind of a bow here with a few loops to use up the rest of this so I don't waste it so I'm gonna, because this video is 18 minutes so far I'm gonna go away and um, I'll be back and do a part three thanks again for watching bye for now